Many Canadians have an opportunity to see the aurora borealis because of this, one of the strongest solar flares or geomagnetic storms in history has happened and the opportunities abound. We're going to get into the science behind the aurora borealis and how it happens with Kevin McKay. Uh, Kevin, this is an interesting graphic because we have our aurora borealis night where when we expect it, but also in the daylight. Yeah, this is a cool way to look at it. This is the night side, the darker side. No, notice the green is always stronger on the dark side. That's the side facing away from the sun. And that does make sense, but we still have some in the light. The reason being here, Kim, this is a look at the solar wind. So ignore this one. Let's just focus on this one. Okay. All the wind is coming from the sun. It's going this way. And just like water flowing behind a rock or wind behind your car, it's going to funnel in behind the planet. And that's where we have the strongest winds in that little bit of a wake. And that's where we have low pressure, just like wind around a storm. Yeah, see, it's not that different really to what's happening down here on Earth. But yes, when we're thinking about strong winds, we have to keep in mind that the Earth has a little bit of a, a shield around it. And this wind is so strong, it's going to get in there a little bit. Yeah, it actually warps the, the shield. So think of the shield, the geomagnetic field, as highways going out of the South Pole into the north. Now, the windward side, on the side of the sun, they get a little compressed and then they tail off on the back side. So all those photons coming in that solar flare, they're going to keep going until they run into one of those highways. Once they hit a highway, they're going to get scooped up and they're going to get carried into our atmosphere. The more photons you have, the more energy they have, the deeper they're going to punch into those highways. That means they're going to run into the atmosphere sooner. That means we're going to see the northern lights a little further south. Okay, so the stronger the winds, the better the chance of people like in southern Ontario, for example, seeing an aurora borealis. Because we often get this, but it's only the northern areas that get the opportunity. Okay, so how does this compare with what we're showing here, which is a very strong hurricane? So the reason I'm showing a hurricane is because, yes, this is one of the strongest solar flares on record, but it's not going to be one of the most impressive northern lights uh, showings on record. The reason being, think of it like a hurricane. This is a very strong hurricane. If Earth was passing through the eye wall, this would be a very impressive showing. But it's in more of an outer band. So yes, it's still going to get some strong winds. It's still going to be an impressive storm, but it's not going to be a worst case scenario. And that's why Saturday night, we're going to have, you could almost compare this to a hurricane as Let's say a category three hurricane is going to be like a G3 geomagnetic storm. Okay, so we could have a really strong solar flare, but if it's not in the right spot, it's not really going to impact Earth as much as if we were in the exact right path. So just like a hurricane, a hurricane can be a category four, but if it's not really close to land, it's not going to do a lot. Exactly. In this one, yes, we're close enough that this is going to get down south of the 60th parallel. Prairie is going to be a great place for viewing this. Southern Ontario, you might in cottage country, Ottawa, Montreal, be able to see the northern lights without even using your camera. This is exciting because we have cloudy skies Friday night, clear skies Saturday night. It doesn't always work out that way. A lot of things have to fall into place in order for us to get a good show. Yeah, and back in May, we had that great showing, but a lot of people missed it because of the cloud cover. This is going to be a great opportunity once again. Okay, thank you for that. Try to get away from the light pollution, go somewhere really dark, and hopefully you get the opportunity to see the northern lights.